North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper announcing a pause to reopening plans as the state sees a recent surge in coronavirus cases. But his lieutenant governor is now pushing back, threatening a lawsuit over the governor's actions, saying he issued orders without approval from state council. That lieutenant governor, Dan Forrest, joins us now. Lieutenant Governor, thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm fascinated by this lawsuit that involves the executive orders. Can you just explain why you're suing and what was violated here? Well, North Carolina is a little bit different uh, than a lot of states regarding executive power. Our Constitution very clearly states that the governor has to get concurrence from the Council of State. That is the lieutenant governor, secretary of state, treasurer, and, and so on. Uh, he has to get concurrence from those members before he makes large, sweeping executive orders that impact the state. Uh, this all started uh, when we did not concur with a specific order that he made, and he went on from there just doing what he pleased without uh, without any concurrence. And so it's, it's, a, it's an issue really of the Constitution and the rule of law. And in times of emergency, that's more important than ever to follow rule of law and follow the Constitution. Now, what did these executive orders involve? Uh, one was, I know, um, this involving the extension of the second phase of reopening. What else was involved? Uh, one was certainly the shutdown of restaurants. There are thing, decisions being made related to what opens when and how things open up. And part of the challenge is the inconsistency of these decisions. You know, things like opening up large uh, box retail uh, uh, facilities. We have hundreds of people at one time, but the mom and pops on Main Street couldn't open. You know, the shutdowns of, of bars and gyms, for instance, uh, as related to other entities. So those still remain closed down here. But there's inconsistencies. And the claim of science Science and data, science and data with no explanation of what the science is or the data is that's leading to this. So uh, there's a lot of inconsistencies, there's a lot of uh, lack of transparency, and there's a whole lot of data missing when it comes to answering the questions uh, that he's uh, providing here. So uh, we, we should have really good in-depth conversation with these Council of State members so that they can understand why these decisions are being made. It's important to note that we reached out to Governor Cooper's office for a statement. We haven't heard back as yet. Uh, let me ask you, Lieutenant Governor, there has been a profound lack of leadership at the local level from a lot of governors, from a lot of mayors when it comes to the pandemic and issues beyond. So what would your overall commentary be on the governor's uh, handling of the pandemic uh, in general in your state? Well, I mean, the, the first one is nursing homes and congregate care facilities, which are in direct control of the governor. Uh, well over 60 percent of our deaths come from nursing homes and, and congregate facilities. So, I mean, this is a, a pretty egregious. Even the vice president has said this. Dr. Burks has said this. This is something that should have been taken care of a long time ago. Uh, the vice president came out and said, uh, I think about six weeks ago, that everybody in those nursing homes should be tested. We're still not doing that in North Carolina. We should protect the most vulnerable, Jed, because we know who they are, and we should allow healthy people to get back about life. And, and North Carolina is a pretty broad state. 85 percent of our state is rural. At least 50 percent of our counties out of our 100 counties don't really have a big problem here, and they should be allowed to go back about life at some level and not have the same kind of lockdown that our cities are having. So not a one-size-fits-all approach. Well, thank you, Lieutenant Governor, for being here, and we're going to keep tabs and be following this lawsuit. So we appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you. And we have, have more Fox day. and Friends coming up on the other side.